Okay. I looked at the recording. It's a little staticky, bro. It's because of the the cord I was using for my mic. It's just like I need a longer one. The one I had where it came with the mic, the road one. It was small, but like, it's not bad though. So like, watch that shit. That shit was crazy as fuck. But but, stay tuned to later the video, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some Bible verses. Like what's crazy about like what he said and stuff. So stay tuned. Fuck it, bro. If it, if it don't come out good, shit. Is what it is, bro. It is what it is. But today we gonna be reacting to X Mason. He's gonna talk about like all that wicked shit. So, you know, you go. All right, brother. You said that you had also uh, Masonic, right? Masonic. Yeah. Masonic. I, 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 well, my career in law enforcement, I actually joined the Brotherhood of the Freemasons. Uh, okay. Yeah, how'd you lodge. get into that? How'd you get into that? Man, you know, a lot of cops are involved with that. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it is, it's, uh, it's a thing that I'm not saying you must do, but 95% of them do. You know what I mean? Uh, now, what's the benefit out of it? Like, what, what's what's the main purpose? He said 5 0. Oh, there's a lot of them with 5 0. Oh. That shit crazy. And if you don't know about the Freemasons, you know, there's a pyramid. The Freemason is in the bottom, but that's the Illuminati shit, gang. Freemasons at the bottom got wake up. Um, make your way up by doing rituals or like pay, pay um. If you got money, you gonna pay you your way up and shit. Actually, for me, if you're gonna ask me the question, I think it was more like biblical history. Oh, okay. Uh, what intrigued me the most was they, you know, they talked about King Solomon's temple and mm -hmm. the Holy of Holies, and I've always been intrigued by it. So this actually exists. Yes, it does. It's your cult. It's not gonna be messing with. Okay, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Uh, and there's three phases. Uh, first ship, I mean, the first phase is the inner apprentice. Okay. Uh, even before you get to that phase, uh, you got to be uh, pretty much uh, spoke about. Okay. You know, to be one, you have to ask one. So uh, one of my uh, supervisors, he was a lieutenant, um, pretty much came up to me and asked me, hey, you want to join a club and i'm like what kind of club is it you know what i mean <laughs> right. well it's a freemasons i did my background you know uh, on them and did my research and i've seen a lot of positive things that you know that came out um out of doing the research you know a lot of them donate money to cancer victims and children's with cancer and mm -hmm. you know, the shriners they have their own hospital and and so forth, you know, and, you know, I was in a position where I'm working with juvenile offenders. Well, why not? Why not do something in the outside? You know right. what I mean? So uh, my lieutenant spoke for me and two other of my uh, fellow brothers in blue, and uh, they petitioned. We petitioned for uh, a spot in the Brotherhood and uh, filled out applications, and um, they did a background. They do a background on you, see if you're good standing, or else they don't take you. Wow. Uh, they do What's up, banana the final is that shit? <laughs> it's like a nine to five, but you just won't get paid for it. That's crazy as fuck. See your background, make sure. I heard if you were a Freemason, you can't be Catholic. Because Catholic apparently, um, I say some shit like they demonic or something like that. What they do is they take men to make them better. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. But only God could do that. Right. You know, no club could do that for you. That's right. You see that only God can change a man, not no fucking club, bro. God can only change a man. Why do you think when people turn themselves to Jesus, why they, why they like, how do you say this? How would you say this shit? Look, like the way they moving now is different. Like they're more positive. They're more like energetic. Like, like their their energy is more um, like more clear. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. You know, so uh, right around 2006, I'm on my fourth year, I'm a fourth or fifth year on a job. You know, I petitioned, it all went pretty good, and you know, they do a house interview. Okay. So I had, I mean, like 20, 30 people come to my house, and uh, they spoke to my wife because they speak to the females first. Wow. I don't know why, but they usually do that because you're going to be. You're not going to be around as much uh, when you, you know, go into meetings or you got to do, um, you know, like uh, take time off to do, um, you know, work, um, 
as far as uh, donating, you know, getting money for donations and, you know, and so forth. So um, I didn't see that quite a bit, you know, as far as going out there, uh, you know, uh, doing any t that type of work first because you have to go through rituals first. Mm -hmm. The the first phase is the inner apprentice phase. That's phase yeah. one. And, you know, you do your rituals. They take you in and they tie a toe to your ankle, you know, made they of... tie a, a toe? A toe, yeah, ankle toe. They call it the ankle toe. And it's made out of, um, what do you call it? Um, it's like a harness. Okay. It's like a, like a tie. They, they tie it around um, your leg and they raise your pants leg up and, uh, you know, you're there in a suit. And then you go around... You know, you're blindfolded, so you can't really see the actual temple. Hmm. It's a temple. Uh, you know, you got Joaquin and Boaz on one side, you know, the two towers. Uh, Bro, the whole time I was out here, my father was cutting grass and shit. And I was waiting. And, bro, it was so, it was nice out. Now the whole sun lighting up, bro. Fuck, man. Which is the two pillars of so the Freemasons. This is, this is like big time. Oh, it's a ritual. This is, this is like sacred stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, but but see, the way they sh they cookie cut it is that uh, they only get the ones that are like you know, I would say the ones that are really interested and the ones that are clean cut. Right. All right. Um, and I'm gonna add the devil to this too. Okay. Because when you're in the world, you're of the devil. Your father, the devil, right? Right, right. Uh, when you don't have God on your mind at all times, from when you wake up in the morning to when you go to sleep at night, you're of your father, the devil. So they get the people that they know they won't love Jesus or, you know what I'm saying? That has nothing to do with Jesus or God. So even though if you believe in God or Jesus, oh, it's the same thing, you know? Um, but they know that they can take you away from that. They got you. That's basically type shit. And I'm just going to say it like that, but I'm going to be bold and honest, you know? Uh, I was in the right state of mind then, you know? had some marital problems so I felt like this this was an outlet for me to get out and have uh, fellowship with other brothers uh, yeah right because you wasn't yeah. getting that with the churches I wasn't getting that with the churches back home because I mean they were uh, preaching prosperity right okay. you know give me a dollar God gives you a thousand and God doesn't work that way man you gotta work for you know you gotta work to eat so nah don't wait for a handout so how long did the first phase mm -hmm. last uh, the first see what they do is they bring you into the temple and they have the secretary, which is a male, we're all males. There's no female masons here. I know in Europe, I think they do, not here. Unless you're an Eastern star, that's different. Okay. But the Freemasons, the blue, you got the blue lodge, which is composed of all different nationalities and, and, and backgrounds of, of, of masons. Right. To include different religious sets, Hindu, Muslim, whatever. You could be a atheist, they don't care. You could be Satan, you could be a devil worshiper. And they'll bring a devil worshiping Bible, right? That satanic Bible, so you could uh, you take the oath. Yeah, they don't care. See, I didn't know that. Mm. I thought I started doing more homework on it. Like, what did I get myself into? But did you ever get that far? Oh, yeah, I became a master mason. Okay. I mean, the, far, the, the highest you can go is 33rd. Okay. But even at 32nd, the, the, see, from the ranks of 30th to 33, which is free, uh, that's when they divulge the, the, the actual truth to you. You know, which they have you in darkness all those years, and then once you start climbing up the the, you know, the rituals and the phases, and you go up the, the ranks, the degrees, right. you call it. Uh, you could go from the third degree to the thirty-second degree. Who I? Is that a Samsung? That's an Android. What the fuck? No, we can. <clears throat> wow. Oh yeah, you can do it. In, Oh, yeah, you can do it in two days. They call that the fast track. But usually to get that high, it takes years. It, take, it takes years, but you can do it the other way. You got to pay some money or talk to whoever. I've heard that some people are, I might have been mistaken, but I know, I know some of these rich people, these Hollywood people, they get land, millions of dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah, it all depends because those are called dues, right? Okay. And you, you're talking about occultic, satanic, uh, individuals that work in Hollywood, uh, you know, of, of, of you know, reverence, mm -hmm. of money, of people of power, you know, um, I didn't know all that. 
Because when you got scales in your eyes, you can only see so much. Right. But when God removes those blinds off your eyes, you start seeing who's who for what they are. Mm. You know? Uh, and not every every Masonic Lodge, I mean, we all they all talk about the same, but everybody's different. You know, because in order for you to be a Shriner, you got to be a Mason. Or do you be a Knights Templar, you got to be a Mason. And you, the, the more you go up in that pyramid, and the highest you can go is a rough child. Right. They're the highest of the highest. Really? Yeah, they're the satanic children of Satan. The rough child. If you know about them, there is a family that is the richest family. Come on now, bro. If you don't believe they're satanic, bro, you living under a rock, bro. Real shit. They're the highest, or the highest. They're the ones that, bro. They're the ones that rule this this world. And then the devil's like right above them. They're the richest of the highest, bro. I'm telling you, it's a pyramid. Why do you think your 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 favorite basketball players and all the motherfuckers through the through the um, pyramid sign, fool? That's the Illuminati shit. First, you gotta be a Freemason and then make your way up and shit. And then when they do the baptism for um for Satan, for like satanic shit, you get baptized in blood, bro. Like, what the fuck? Come on now, open your fucking eyes, man. Open your eyes that you know Jesus is the way, bro. They don't mind no other religion except Christianity. Look at friends, bro. Already, like, uh, I think the church burned, if I'm not mistaken. Like, yesterday or something. Like, come on now, open your eyes. The more you go up in that pyramid, and the highest you could go is a rough child. Right. They're the highest of the highest. Really? Yeah, they're the satanic children of Satan. Wow. They actually sit on the table, and they have a special chair for Satan right there. And he comes and talks to these family members, and they're the ones that, the, the shaking and bakers, I call them. Now, this one has to do also with the, uh, those people what? who go out into the room and they burn that wood and owl and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, you're talking about uh, those, uh, the Illuminati. Right. Oh yeah, you have to be a Freemason to be there. All the presidents were Freemasons. George Washington was a Freemason. That's what I heard. That's what I did my research on. George Washington was a Freemason. Come on now. They're all satanic, bro. They're all satanic. Don't think none of these people are good, bro. They're the government. The Illuminati. Illuminati, okay. Right. This that, has to do with oh, yeah. You have to be a Freemason to be there. All the presidents were Freemasons. Okay. A small portion weren't. But they were Jesuits. This is the same thing. Okay. Yeah, even the Pope. They don't, uh, and they'll, I'm going to be honest. They, they don't actually have to do the whole thing. Damn, why do I have to keep popping up? Um. I don't know if this AI or not, but that shit, if this shit real, bro, that shit crazy. That's crazy, bro. And to be honest, that shit doesn't look AI, though. But people say this sign right here in the Philippines or whatever, that's so, uh, me peace and love or some shit. But remember, they're the highest of the highest right there. The highest or the highest. Is the Pope living lavish? I'm pretty sure, right? Jesus chose to live poor. He didn't care about being lavish. He came to this earth to save to save people from sin, to forgive sin. But he chose to be poor to know how we living. He, he already knows how the rich people are living. Their hearts are full of pride. Look at the Pharisees. Righteous, but heart not there for God, you know? Crazy. Okay. A small portion weren't, but they were Jesuits. This is the same thing. Okay. Yeah, even the Pope. They don't, and they'll, I'm going to be honest, they, they don't actually 
have to do the whole ritual, they have to watch. Right. And because of their power and rank within the church. But it's still controlled by... They, oh, yeah, it's, everything is controlled by the white and black pope. Yeah. So black and white, which is uh, white and black tiles, is where oh, we have our temple. The yeah, the right. yin-yang, you know, the, the right. good versus evil. You got to have one of the balance. And that's uh, the work of the devil. God doesn't work that way. He doesn't manifest that way. That's all the trick of the devil. You know, the world, the, the devil knows the Bible better than me and you put together. Right. Because he was there when God was putting it together. He was there when God was putting it together. Come on now, even the worst enemy knows that. Crazy, bro. This shit crazy. And in Revelation, the first and second beast. If I'm mistaken, the second beast. If I'm mistaken, it's a woman, a drunk. A drunk. Um, woman all the time. That she was a drunk. And every kingdom, like, leader, like, adore her or something like that. And, um, damn, what the fuck am I going with this? Hold on. My thought just went up. Um,. It says that a lot of people in this world are gonna basically worship her than than Jesus. Which is crazy to me. And of course he fell. Of course, but he knows. Yeah. He could twist the word of God and make his soul clean like honey in your mouth. And say, Well, this guy is a man of God, but no, you gotta keep you gotta go beyond that, honey. You gotta go around it and do your research. Research. Because they they're gonna give themselves up. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys and women, men and women that work in Hollywood, they're all Satanists. Okay. All of them are Satanists. And you know what? Anybody can tell me different. I, I really don't care because I know. Certain hand signs that you do, you know, the pyramid, the rock. You know, Jay-Z calls this the rock. It's a pyramid. Right. All right? But in that pyramid, there's 13. Right. You also got the, yeah. uh, what was this, the... Uh... Well, that, that's the, the horns of the devil. Right. The devil's horns, yeah. And, you know, that's what Illuminati. I've been what you, I've been you can use it for the, the shriners use it too. Right. That's the Moloch. Okay. Moloch is the actual owl that they worship out in California. All these big shots, big corporations, okay. they go there. And that's where they make the presidents too. Yeah. They make presidents there. They know which president they're going to make. They make them. They, all this po political stuff, right. that's just BS. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. That, that, that is the most deceiving uh, thing in America. They know which the Rothschilds makes the presidents. They're trillionaires. They own the world. They own, they own like 90% of the world. Yeah. And plus, you, you have all these superstars and all these You control their puppets. Well, and not only that, they got the money to buy land. Oh, yeah. And eventually, it's going to be one government yes. or one secret government, should yep. I say, the, like, uh, one world the Illuminati or masons right who will control all this land but see the the masons are the foot soldiers of the illuminati you understand the pyramid right i don't know how to respond to that shut up damn not only that they got the money to buy land oh yeah and eventually it's going to be one government yes or one secret government should i say the like uh the illuminati or the masons right who will control all this land. But see, the, the Masons are the foot soldiers of the Illuminati. You understand right. the pyramid, right? Yes, yes. It's shaped like a, like a triangle, right. right? So we're at the very bottom. The very bottom. And then above that, you got different families, you know, different. Uh, above that, you got York Rite, uh, Scottish Rites, which are also sets of different branches of, of Freemasons. And then you go into Knights Templar, and, and you got... Uh, you know, well, Shriners. I guess that's where you get the all-seeing eye from. Uh, the all-seeing eye is the Lucifer. Right. Underneath them is the Rothschilds. Underneath them is the Council of 13. Or the uh, Council of 33. Or 13. No, 13. Underneath them, you got the Council of 33. Underneath them, you got big, you know, different corporations like the CFR. The Council of Foreign Relations. And underneath them, you got... You know, like six big companies that own all the mer you know, all, they own all the real estate and they own all like Bro. media alpha. Hello. Shut up. CFR. Wow. The Council of Foreign Relations. And underneath them you got, you know, like six big companies that own all the mer you know, all, they own all the real estate and they own all like media outfits, you know, like um uh, I said media, um 
they own all different types of yeah like like those people who are like warren buffett who owns well people. yeah he's a 33rd yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. so they own uh, you know property they own land they own Box, everything yeah. everything so you got six corporations in the world that owns 90 percent of the assets and the money of the world right mm. so even the federal reserve is not of the united states it's a separate entity that's ran by the Rothschilds. See, the Rothschilds, they run all that from their house. Wow. And they live out in, in England. They don't they don't leave that house. In England? Yeah, I heard something about that. They don't leave the house. Why is that? I mean, is because that's where the devil dwells. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, in England, I don't know if they banish the word church. Like, I think they're like, I could be mistaken, so don't, don't be saying some weird shit. Um... Apparently they're gonna take down churches to build some like some other shit. Like that's just crazy to me, bro. If you don't believe in God, what the fuck is you doing, bro? Keep it a being. See, well, the, the devil can only be in one place. God is everywhere. Yeah. You understand? True. Um, yeah, because God is uh, he's, he's everlasting. He's omnipresent. Yeah, he's yeah. everywhere. You yeah. can't put God in there, sir. Yeah. He's too big. And you can't have you can't have the devil. No. Everywhere, you know, no. he's limited to his power. One spot. Amen. Well, he'll use his foot soldiers to do other things. Exactly. They're all demons. They're all demon possessed. They're vessels. They're fleshly vessels that are, uh, um, they are compartmentalized. They're shra they, they, They're like shattered. They shatter their brains, and it's just it's like MK Ultra, right? They they use MK Ultra to um, break the minds of people, mm -hmm. and then they mold them the way that they want them to go. You know what I mean? Or satanic ritual abuse. That's that all comes together with uh, the Freemasons. So their ultimate goal is pretty much to have to, one world, one world order, one world religion, one world religion, and one world currency. currency. Yep. To eventually rule the world. Rule the world, right? Which is to usher in also the, the Antichrist, of, the, the Antichrist, Mark of the Beast, and so Mark on. of the Beast, right? So you've seen all this yeah. firsthand. Yeah. Oh yeah, firsthand. I mean, I've seen the rituals. I see where they. They imitate them trying to kill you. You know, when you get in your masters, they put you like they they simulate that they're stabbing you, and they're killing you like uh, two ball cane. Yeah, you know. Um, so in other in other words, like you almost have to kind of like the way we have to be reborn. Yes, they're making a mockery out of de um, mockery. of baptism. Right, and, and it's and it's actually reversed. And you know what? The devil works like that because. Yeah. So if we have to be reborn, they pretty much say you have, you to, have to die yourself. first. You have you to die. kill yourself for the devil. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So just like the you know like the satanic baptism, they do they baptize them in blood and uh, you what know like a cast iron bathtub. Right. If you see the videos that you see like this girl named um, uh, Rihanna, that's one of them. That she's done uh, blood uh, sacrifices and she's done. A blood baptism, but they won't show blood and the bathtub, they show water. But it's symbolic, the water, their water is symbolic to blood. Right. And they have to get in that bathtub. Even Eminem, you see him on on uh, on one of those magazines, he's just leaning back, bare chested with blood up to his to his stomach. Wow. In a in a, in a cast iron, you know, um, bathtub. And Damn. that's how they do their rituals. Everything is backwards. Who's the other guy? I know. Don't he got a song anti yeah. Was it Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne is another. That's the most satanic one around. Right, him, right. Little Baby, uh, the one that promotes him. He's he's a pedophile. He's a fag. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're all homosexuals. They have to be like the Baphomet. Like, is it above? Man, like, yeah. is it below? You see the Baphomet? Yes, yes. He has full arms. Something like well, that. no, no. That, that's Hindu. I'm talking about okay. the Baphomet is the... Did that say Coachella right here? Am I tweaking? Does that say Coachella? What's it say, Saul's? That shit crazy. The, the god of oh. the... Hello? Hello? He's a fag. Wow. Oh yeah, they're all homosexuals. They have to be like the Baphomet. Like, is the it above? Baphomet, like, yeah. is it below? You see the Baphomet? Yes, yes, he has yeah. Forms, like no, no, no. That, that's Hindu. I'm talking about okay. the Baphomet is the 
the the god of the Knights Templar. Okay, I'll post a picture as you're saying this. Yeah, I'll post it, it, it's a goat's face with horns. Right. Has breast of a woman and the remaining uh, uh, lower half of a man, and then the the feet of of a goat. Wow. You know, so they worship that. That's Lucifer. All right. It's wow. disgusting. Yeah. They eat fecal matter. They drink urine. I mean, it's disgusting. I, I never did that. You know, I never got that high up to do nothing like But when you're up there and they expose everything to you at the 30th to the 33, you know, it, it's a, you're done. You're selling yourself to the devil at that point. And then not only that, you yeah. sworn to secrecy. Yeah, you sworn never to divulge any information, but to always protect and help your fellow brother. That's it. Mm. So, I think what he means by that is, like, if they're getting in trouble, like, our spice is going through it right now with the devil sign. So, like, if some shit happens like that, like, they'll, like, help her out and make sure, like, like, nah, y'all tweaking, you know? But we know what we saw. We can't. It's a weird ass, bro. Yeah. And oh, so yeah. That's the, that was the pretty first step, and then what was the, the second? The second is fellow craft. That's fellow craft. yeah. That's uh, the second degree fellow craft. Okay. Uh, same kind of rituals, but it, now you go from raising your pant on the uh, pants, you know, like trousers on the right. Now you're gonna do it on the left, and now you got a different ankle toe with a ball. You know, man, that's crazy. And then you blindfold it. Take you, you know, the actual uh, officer. They call them officers, the ushers. They call them ushers. They usher you around. And you gotta bow where you have to bow, and you gotta, you know, do what you gotta do, and wow. and they make you face the the worshipful master of the east, the worshipful master of the, the west. Uh, this this specific part in the lodge, uh, it's empty, and that's the north. You never face the north, you know, which it resembles where the Lord is at. Right. You know, they say that God is, you know, straight up north. You know, um, but they don't make you do nothing with that. Um, it's just like senseless rituals, you know, and you want your ego to get through, you're eager to get your ring, you know, your token, yeah. or, or any other, uh, you know, Masonic memorabilia that you could wear, you put it on. I your... met somebody when I was working yeah. at, at the shipyard, uh, yeah. someone who did have a ring. Yeah, I used to wear a ring all the time. Oh. That looked like the, the, um, the finals game, championship finals, NBA. Yeah, it's tripping. Hey, but you seen LeBron do that shit, though. You see him do the pyramid sign. And y'all were and y'all adore his ass. Crazy as fuck. How people adore him. crazy motherfuckers, you know? People adore Pablo Escobar, people adore cartels, bro. Not gonna say nothing too much. Nice thing, bro. They get mine. So yeah. they give you rings. No no, you have to buy it. You have to purchase it yourself. Oh. Or if you're my brother and I'm giving you a token of my appreciation to you because you already became a master. Right. Well he is a uh, sometimes they'll give you a dime with a, a compass and square on it. Oh, hold on. Sorry for the weird cut. I gotta make sure this is good. It's like zoom good. Wow. Okay. You know what I mean? Unless you really put it up close to see it, that's okay. a token of appreciation and love from your brother. Gotcha. Or they'll probably, you know, well, you know what? We want to buy you your first ring. Mm -hmm. Or they'll give you a shield to put in your car. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So everybody sees that your brother, leave you alone. You get special privileges, you know, you get pulled over, have, have a nice day. Because they all, so, yeah. So the ultimate goal here is that if anybody ever, I guess, approaches somebody, right. stay stay far away from this. Oh, you're going to have to stay far away from them and run. Yeah. Don't stay close because, see, the, the problem with that is they use the, the, the actual word brotherhood as an advantage to them. And sad. It's a catchy. It's a honey. Say brotherhood also. Yeah. Like, uh, this is going around a lot in the colleges. Oh, yeah. The, you know, the Alpha Cadas and yeah. all them. They, that's all Greek. Yes. Um, and a lot of them becomes, uh, after a while, they'll become our uh, bones and skulls. Wow. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're in a Yale. That's where they come from, you know. But they do have, they have you have to be a master mason before you become, a, you know, mm -hmm. anything else. Uh, depending on... You, you know, your upward mobility is, and rituals, the quicker you get them done, the quicker things are revealed to you. But like I said, you could go as high as you want. If you got money, you could buy your way up. Mm -hmm. You know, honorary. You know how many times they give honorary doctorates? 
the people never ever been in college. Yeah. You know, like uh, for example, uh, Bill Cosby got an honorary uh, doctorates, right? Mm -hmm. So they jacked him up with some of these women and stuff. They took it away, but he's a Freemason. So he good. But see, if, if you start exposing them, they'll go after you. They'll go after your family. They'll try to kill you because the government's part of it. It's not only civilians. The government is in cahoots with these people. Right, right. I'm a die. And in man. every there's sectors throughout the whole country that split apart. I, I don't know if it's northeast, south, and west, but they have witches that are in charge of these sectors and warlocks that are in charge of these sectors, and they pretty much monitor the 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 satanic. Um, you know, I'm going to use the satanic. Uh, you know, um, members. Mm -hmm. You know, like, they call it congregation, too, just the opposite of being a, 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 a Jesus believer. You know, I don't want to use the word Christi, you know, Christianity, yeah. um, but I want to, you know, believers, right? So they have a specific south and west, but they have witches that are in charge of these sectors and warlocks that are in charge of these sectors, and they pretty much monitor the, the, the satanic, um, you know, I'm going to use the satanic, uh, you know, um, members, mm -hmm. you know, like they call it congregation too, just the opposite of being a, 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 a Jesus believer. Right. You know, I don't want to use the word Christy, you know, Christianity, yeah. um, but I want to, you know, believers, right? So they have a specific warlocks and, uh, you know, council 13, which is, which are either male or female. And pretty much they're in charge of thousands of members of the congregations and the local witches and warlocks that are in charge of that congregation. Wow. And a lot of them are politicians, heavily involved in witchcraft. Mm. And they have to do certain rituals and certain things in order for them to gain favor with the Rothschilds. And then they send uh, orders, of, of, you know, orders of doing things for, the, for, for that family. Wow. You know, they give them orders. And, and with those orders, come money comes with it. And so, so like the exact same way we try to expand the kingdom of God. They're doing it the other way. They're doing it the other oh, way. Oh, yeah, they, 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 it's satanic at the core. The this whole country is not based upon Christianity. It's satanic mm -hmm. from head to toe. Been Don't ever that. think that the president is not a satanic worshiper either. Don't ever think. And I'm going to put it out there, too. I'm going to put it out there. <laughs> nice. I'm going to put it out there. Because, I mean, come on. Their God is money. Lucifer. Lucifer and no cap I seen this video you know it's Camilla Harris and Trump right now you know Camilla and fuck no Trump is probably the the one we need but the thing is is like he was talking about there was a video of him with the Bible talking about we need Jesus Christ with the woo woo and another video I seen him talking about Christians vote Christians vote in, in a couple, in, in the long run, y'all don't have to do this no more. Woo, woo, woo. I'm not a Christian. There's something like that, bro. I, I'll, I'll look up the video, but that's what he said again. And shit crazy. They don't have none of want or need. Doesn't the Lord says it in the Holy Scriptures? Ye that are what? poor, you're rich. Poor, you're rich. Right? We're rich in favor to the Most High. That's right. All you got to do is ask, and God provides. Mm -hmm. If he provides for the little critters and, and the birds of the air and the fowls of the, you know, the how air, much more us. how much more us that he loves us even more? Yeah, we were made in his creation. Yup, we were made in his creation. And also, it's like, he provides, right? So like, for example, somebody trying to become a soccer player or something, and you're working your hardest, to become that and you become that boom he helped you out since then what was crazy is that most people don't know that it was God that helped them like they know that God helped them but they turn away from God so they can be in a higher level to do, and then they start doing satanic shit and you see the one eye shit man the book they cover one eye um I throw up the pyramids you know so be careful out there man He's gonna bring you to a certain level. Now you good. You can use that money on some other stuff to get your bread, or keep doing what you're doing. But don't ever fall from Jesus, bro.
it's literally, it says in the Bible, like, money is all, is the root of evil and shit. So, you gotta really be careful, man, because the real riches is up there in heaven, not down here. Down here is temporary, bro. Everything that we have, that I'm owning, this camera, this, this mat, my back, that shit is gonna be gone when I die. But up there is really where them good things are at, bro. But these people are satanic at the core. They don't believe in God. They hate God because their God is Lucifer. And I was involved in that. I met witches before. They've revealed themselves because when you're in and you get yourself out, see, what got me out was God's love and grace and mercy. So looking back, yeah, uh, you wouldn't trade nothing in the world for Never. Uh-uh. I'm, a, uh, I, I, I'm humble. Amen. To the 20th power. <laughs> Sorry for the weird cut. I don't know. I'm going to share this because it's still going. Amen. <laughs> you know, I would never change anything right. because the most high has something to do with it. Amen. See, and I didn't know. I, I thought it was just things that, you know, at times, you know, you do something that you ain't supposed to do. You reap what you sow. Yeah. A lot of it was reaping and sowing. Don't get me wrong. But the bulk of it, the bulk of it, was God breaking me down from being a juvenile all the way up to I'm in my 40s now, you know? So I'm a different type of person now. Amen. You know, everything that was taken from me that I thought it was taken away from me, God gave it back Multiply. with interest. Multiply. So, you know, I, I, at times when I fellowship when with, with other brothers and sisters, you know, I, I, I share with them portions of my testimony of whatever benefits them, you know, in the walk. And they're like, how did you do it? You know, someone once told me, he said, uh, the devil likes to subtract and divide. Yeah. And the Lord likes to add and multiply. Multiply. <laughs> Just <laughs> like Abraham. Amen, brother. Just like Abraham. That's right. You know, but uh, I mean, Amen. people like yourself, you know, through you, I got to see the apostle. Right, yeah. You know. demons they don't want this to be good i'm playing but it's gonna be a minute bro bro we're almost done they don't give a fuck i would have never if it's loud my bad got to see pastor james if it would have been because of the word of now see if that big ass dog do is different as soon as i start playing the video you see that shit you see that shit the word made, simple. made simple, you know, on, on YouTube, and then from there we started fellowshipping, yeah. and I started watching all his, you know, YouTube channels through you, Tony Harving, right, and, right. and everybody else, and, you know, just before I came here, the Lord spoke to me, he goes, well, you need to be baptized, you need to be holy, brother, you got the Holy Spirit in you, you speak in tongues, now it's time for you to be baptized, Amen. so Amen. from here, I'm going to go to the Holy Convocation, hopefully in July, that's right, and I'm going to be baptized there. I got to go see Pastor Gino James to see if uh, he knows what to do with yeah. it. Yeah. And you see, there you go, guys. You have it. Here's bro Brother uh, Vic. And uh, hopefully he'll be there, God willing. Hopefully I'll be there, God willing. Hopefully yeah. Tony First church. Yes, Rocks. amen. And uh, last, last week of July. Last week of July. Also, if there's anybody out there considering to becoming uh, a Freemason, don't do it. Don't do don't it. Do it. If you need to talk to somebody that's been there, you can contact me at 330-707-5159, or you can shoot me an email, which is <laughs> lowercase vr13377 at gmail.com. Uh, at any time, I'm available all day long. So I just wanted to say God bless you. So, uh, be safe. Do the right thing. So this is really interesting, bro. And people still don't want to believe, you know what I'm saying, which is crazy to me. But that's how it that's how well, it is, bro. Titanic is fucked. Demonic. Crazy shit, bro. And it, it's not done yet. I'm going to bring my Bible right now. I forgot it. It would have been perfect. But it talks about the Jews being in Revelation. And I want to speak that out. So I'll be right back. Do y'all believe Babylon is like... That's what it's called, right? Babylon? Like, the United States... Because the United States is the biggest, like, country you can say, you know. That shit crazy to me, gang. That I'm most likely living. 
living in um in Babylon, bro. But look, the message to Sibna. I don't know the how to say the word, but the word right here. <laughs> yeah, right here, right here, right where my my hand is. The fuck is this? Shit, tweaking. But it says, and to the angel of the church in Sibna. Word right here. Right. These are the words of the first and last, who was dead and came to life. I know your affliction and your poverty, even though you are rich. I know the slander on the part of those who say that they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear what you are, are about to suffer. Beware, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison so that you may be tested. And for the ten days you will have affliction. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Let any spirit, let anyone who has an ear listen to what the spirit is saying to the churches. Whoever conquers will not be harmed by the second death. Bro, Drake is a Jew. What's his name? That fool that did, Michael, Michael Rubin, the one that did the all white party. When he was with Aiden, he pointed to that fool. He was like, oh yeah, he a Jew also. Aiden a Jew, Michael Rubin a Jew, and there's been clips, I don't know, it's in the internet game, that real, like, powerful people hang out with little, like, powerful Jews. And they claim that they're Jews, but they're in the synagogue of Satan. Why do you think they're up there, bro? You can't get up there attend, instead of doing rituals, bro. Satanic rituals, gang. So keep your head up, bro. Don't get into this twisted world, because it's, like, in the Bible, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that's how it said, like, what if a man gained the world but loses his soul? Or, like, lose himself, basically. Something like that, bro. Like, crazy game. And, and Luke 21. Luke chapter 21. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, yeah. Luke chapter 21, 7 to 19. Signs and persecutions. They asked him, Teacher, when will this be? And what will be the sign that this is about to take place? And he said, Beware that you are not led astray, for many will come in my name and say, I am he. And the time is near. Do not go after them. When you hear of wars and insurrection, do not be terrified, for these things must take place first, but the end will not follow immediately. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and, and various places. Feminized. I don't know how to say it. I think that's how you say it. But like, world hunger, you can say. Well, yeah. And plagues. And there will be dreadful portents and great signs from heaven. Crazy, bro. Look what's happening now. But before all this occurs, they will arrest you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors because of my name. So what would did we say before in Revelation? They're going to put you in prison, and that's what Satan is going to test you. This will give you an opportunity to testify, so make up your minds not to prepare your defense in advance. For I will give you the, give you words and wisdom, and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to withstand or contradict. Boom! The Holy Spirit, God is gonna help you out. You don't even have to think, overthink it. The words is gonna come out because He took over. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, by relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. Betrayal, bro. It's gonna happen. You'll be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair of your head will perish, but your endurance you will gain your souls. Amen. There you go. They're gonna persecute you, persecute you because of the name of Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
no one get, goes to heaven and said through me. Well, to the Father said through me. Something like that. Come on now, bro. John. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. So whoever believes in him will not perish, but may have, will not perish, may have eternal life. Something like that. Again. Come on, bro. May God, whoever watching this, bro, may God bless y'all, man. Keep y'all heads up, bro. Because the, the end is near, bro. We're in the end times, basically. But the, all these have to occur before the Son of Man comes. But like it, it says, no one knows the hour or the day or do it will accept the Father. But it do say these events have to occur before he comes, so. Just don't get the beat. Don't make it. Don't get the mark, bro. You know, just just die, bro. <laughs> Let them kill you, gang. It's it's life or death. Death is hell. Life, heaven. So may God bless you, man. May God bless you. Peace out, bro.